And in Wake County, close to 1,200 public school teachers and employees got their vaccines today. The goal, distributing shots to 2,800 by the end of the weekend. CBS 17's Mackenzie Stasco is live in Raleigh tonight. In Mac, there were two mass vaccine clinics held specifically for school staff. Nick, that's right. One was in Nightdale, the other here at Southeast Raleigh High School. Inside, they flipped the gym into a vaccine clinic, and this is what school employees have been asking for, and they're grateful to finally get it. Getting the shot means more peace of mind for music teacher Samantha Williams. Meaning I can go back into my classroom and teach with a little bit more confidence. And ultimately, more upbeat lessons for her students. Because when you have fear, it makes you apprehensive about what you do. Mm -hmm. So now I can be more confident in my actual practice of teaching. And a little more confidence for Renee Hager and Leanne Traub, the cafeteria and data managers at Walnut Creek Elementary. I feel more safe now returning to work, so it's it's a good thing. I feel hope. Mm -hmm. I just hope that we can get back to some semblance of normalcy. Anita Ote rolled up her sleeve too, but will continue teaching eighth grade math virtually for the rest of the semester. So we're all adjusting and so it'll be great to get back into the building and be able to teach the way that we're used to teaching. Not every child is, gets the love and affection that they need. And sometimes at school, that's the only place they can get it. And if I can help just one child, but still, we still have to keep our distance, but this helps you feel a little more secure. And the school district tells me that this is one of five vaccine clinics that's held over the past few days and told every single appointment has been full. I asked the school district how many employees have been vaccinated so far, but I'm told they won't have an exact tally until next week. For now, live in Raleigh, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News.